we present Pabound Motion 3D Aware Image Deformation via learning the shape Laplacian. Recently, 3D Aware Image Manipulation methods have allowed the user to manipulate an image as if the object exists in 3D space. These include the methods on human post-transfer, 3D model-based manipulation, and novel view synthesis. However, they either work only for human bodies, require the exact 3D model of the object, or are limited to altering the global scene information. Thus, we aim to enable image deformation with minimal restrictions on shape category and deformation type. Our method works for any shape category, and it doesn't require the ground truth 3D model corresponding to the image. We emphasize that our method can deform the input image in a 3D-aware manner. Our method also allows the user to deform any local regions of the image using deformation handles such as key points. To model such intuitive deformations, we use handle-based deformation blending weights computed from the 3D reconstruction of the object in the image. These weights smoothly propagate of fine transformations defined at handles to other vertices. Given n number of handles, the deformed position of the i-th vertex is calculated as the summation of the deformation weight multiplied by the transformation matrix for each handle applied to the original vertex position. These deformation weights are computed as a minimizer with respect to the Laplacian-based deformation energy, subject to several constraints to guarantee desired properties of deformation reflecting handle configurations. This deformation energy A is calculated based on the topology of the source shape. However, directly calculating deformation weights from the 3D reconstruction often results in implausible deformations, since most of the existing methods of image-based 3D reconstruction are vulnerable to topological errors. Therefore, we propose to take a supervised learning-based approach to predict the shape Laplacian of the 3D reconstruction. Our prediction target, the Laplacian-based deformation energy A, has several desired properties, including positive semi-definiteness, symmetry, and sparsity. To guarantee the positive semi-definiteness of the learned A, we propose to decompose the deformation energy by its definition and separately learn the cotangent Laplacian and the inverse mass such that the deformation energy can be later recovered using them. To effectively learn those properties corresponding to the underlying 3D shape of an image, we first apply image-based 3D reconstruction to obtain a 3D point cloud and extract its feature using point transformer. Taking them as input, we now learn the cotangent Laplacian of the 3D reconstruction. Cotangent Laplacian is a highly sparse and symmetric matrix whose element Lij is defined as non-zero only if there is an edge between the i-th and the j-th vertices. These non-zero values are defined using the cotangents of dihedral angles and edge lengths with respect to the edge ij. To respect these properties of cotangent Laplacian, our network predicts each element Lij by taking pairs of the i-th and the j-th input points. We also use a symmetric architecture and a weight function to guarantee the predicted cotangent Laplacian to be symmetric and sparse. Next, we learn the inverse mass. The mass matrix M is a diagonal lumped matrix of Bournoy volumes per vertex. Thus, our inverse mass prediction module is designed to predict the i-th diagonal element in the inverse mass by taking the i-th input point and its feature. In training time, our network is trained using the direct supervision obtained from the ground truth mesh topology. In test time, we recover the deformation energy from the predicted cotangent Laplacian and inverse mass to compute deformation blending weights with user-specified control handles. Now, we present our experimental results. We first show our deformation weights in comparison to ground truth and weights directly computed from the alternative mesh reconstruction methods. We show that our learning-based method can obtain more accurate deformation weights, leading to more plausible shape deformations. We also show motion animations created using our image deformation method. We again compare our video results to those created using the alternative methods, in which ours is shown to produce more realistic deformations. For more deformation results, please check our project website.